Hi guys, that's my girlfriend. See you later. Kind of this Watch this walker. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he was blocked by this. Thing. Oh, really? Yeah. How you guys doing? Uh, Chris Ignato here, and thanks for stopping by. So it's mid-April, pretty much, and it's the first hot day of the year. So we are hitting the wetlands to see what kind of amphibians are about. So come along, guys. Let's have a good time. Straight? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Where are we going? Uh, you're taking me. Let me think. Okay, guys, switch sides in the car. You can figure it out. But, uh, Heather. Yeah. What do you hear? I hear spring peepers. Hear it, guys? So, we're going to be filming spring peepers, hopefully some wood frogs, and quite possibly some green frogs and bullfrogs, but it's the peepers we're after tonight, isn't it? Yeah. And maybe some wood frogs. That'd be pretty awesome. So, uh, let's get out there. Hear them? Isn't that cool? <laughs> they're all, they're all going to be in here. Are they pretty easy to catch? Uh, it depends. I think so, but not exactly. Um... Here, a yes, you do. So listen to this, guys. It's not even nighttime yet. It's not even dark. And we're hearing thousands of peepers. So over here, it gets really exciting. This vernal pool over here gets really cool. And all through here, and it's like a little maze with these tiny little vernal streams and tributaries and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, it's a good a good way to find these peepers is to. Can you hold the camera and film me? Okay. Now, actually, pinpointing spring peepers can be really difficult at times because their sound can make them sound like they're coming from any direction. So the way I find them is I cup my ears like this, and I actually bend them up and down and then move around to zero in on where they are. And I bend closer and closer until I can really pinpoint them. Otherwise, it's really difficult. So uh, it's gonna be a lot of that going on tonight. So let's get going. What was that? Find me a peeper, Chris. Okay. Heather wants me to find her a peeper. <laughs> so we're gonna get looking. Okay, now a good way to, a good place to look for these peepers is, you'll find them in the, in the foliage and stuff right around the edges of these pools and in the little, little tufts of grass and plants. You'll find them in the twigs and branches of things surrounding puddles and pools and little pockets of water. So we'll be checking all these spots. In a few minutes, we're going to go up there and check around the circumference of the vernal pool because there should be a bunch there pretty soon. And with some real luck, we might get some wood frogs too. It'll get a little easier when, you, when, they, when they're singing and you'll see their throat moving, their vocal sac inflating. Okay. So there's one right in front of us, and we're going to tiptoe up and hope that we can find him. So watch our steps. He went quiet. So we're gonna crouch right here and hope that he starts up again. Okay, there's a few right right in front of us right now. But it's hard finding them. However, we're just getting started. So we're, we're gonna find them. <laughs> oh, they're really, they're really starting up now. Wet my hand. Okay. Okay. Hold your hand up here so I can see you. Okay, ready? Yep. Is he gonna jump out of my hand? Maybe, but you can get him again if he does. Okay. Tiny little 
little spring peeper. Uh oh. Do you see him? There. You want to get him? Good job. Okay, so it's a bit loud for Heather. And I actually had to go back to the car and get some earplugs that I brought along because this could be really deafening for some people and could cause migraines and headaches and stuff, just like the cicadas are capable of doing. Could give you some serious vertigo at times. But uh, they're almost in full swing. I don't know if you'd believe it or not, but it gets even more intense than this. Pretty fun stuff. Sorry about the lighting. There's a lot of bullfrog tadpoles in here and they're like in their second year, so they're huge. Check it out. So that's a pretty big peeper right there. But you can see that characteristic X on the back. Pretty distinctive for the species. Not all of them have them, but a lot of them do. This peeper is about an inch and a half long. That's pretty big for a spring peeper. Maybe it's a female. This is, you can't tell, but this is the pinkish variety. But it doesn't look it on camera. This is the more common variety. Heather just found a pickerel frog. Now how you know this is a pickerel frog is because its spots are arranged in two rows down its back. This is an awesome species. I'm pretty excited. They're pretty big, about three inches from head to tail. Look at those three spots on the nose between the two eyes. Isn't that cool? Another frog species that kind of shares this same type of habitat, although I never find them around here, is the leopard frog. And the way you can tell the difference between pickerel frogs and leopards is pickerels have their spots on their back arranged pretty much into two rows. Leopard frogs, the spots are a little bit sporadic. They're not organized in such a fashion. And the leopard frog also has a white spot in the tympanum, which is basically the eardrum. One of the larger frog species of our area. The green frogs and bullfrogs get larger. This species, the pickerel frog, is actually larger than the wood frog, but not by a whole lot. Well, yeah, I guess it is. Now, something I want to try to show you, and it's going to be difficult, is there's yellow inside their legs, so when they jump, their predators see a flash of yellow, which often confuses or surprises them, buying the frog an extra second to get away. I'm gonna to try to show you real quick, so hold on. Do you see that yellow? Hmm. Yeah. Now, on gray tree frogs, it's much more vibrant, very, very bright. Same with some of the, some of the other species. See those webbed feet? And it's got gripping four legs, four feet. But I'm going to turn this frog loose. Good spotting, Heather. <laughs> yeah. Okay, once again, like I said, Heather's my lucky charm. Thanks a lot, Heather. You're awesome. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, if you like this video, 
be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but you gotta click the bell icon. Because if you don't, YouTube will never let you know when a new video of mine comes out. And remember, passion inspires spirit. Chris Ignato, signing out.